Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. A few days ago, I have put a community post on my channel asking you guys, what do you want to see next? And over 750 people voted out, out of which Maximum wanted to see RAM optimization guide. So here I am to tell you the best optimization for memory on your device. Now this guide is dedicated to Windows 11, but I'm pretty sure it will work on Windows 10 the same way. Just follow this video till the end for better results and if you like the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and with all that said let's roll the intro Alright, first things first is creating a restore point and this is a very simple process. Press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. Now once you are here, select your local disk C or any drive it says system with it. Then click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna be naming it RAM optimization. So I'll remember I have made a change in my RAM with this protection file. And then click on create. Now let it take its time because we're gonna make some severe changes to our system. We do this to keep our files safe. If anything goes wrong on your system, you can always restore the changes back. Now once the protection is done, you guys will see a pop up like this. All you have to do is click on close and then click on ok and we are done with the first step. Now let's move ahead with the actual steps. So for that, press your windows key and then search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Just click on this option and you guys will see a page like this. Now click on this third option which says adjust for best performance and then click on this option which says show thumbnail instead of icons. Then click on apply. Doing this will drastically decrease the usage of your memory allowing it to use more of it while gaming or any other task. You need to understand that the appearance and animations of your windows consume a very major part of your memory. Disabling all those settings will definitely allow your RAM to perform much better. Now in the same panel, go to advanced and then over here you'll see virtual memory. This is one of the most important setting. Just click on change and then you guys will see a blue tick like this. Just remove this tick mark and you guys can make changes into your virtual memory. Now in here you'll see two options. First one is initial size and the second one is maximum size. The first thing you need to add is the maximum size of the custom memory you're gonna be making. Now this should be around half the size of your main memory. If you guys don't know your main memory, search for system information. In here you need to search for total physical memory. Mine is 16 GB. All you need to do is multiply 16 with 1024 and that's the memory you are about to get. Now I have 16384 megabytes of memory installed in my system. I need to roughly divide it by 2 to get the half of it. 8192. Simply copy and paste it to the maximum size. Now divide this to 2 and then Copy this size and then paste it to the initial size. Then click on set. I forgot we have to remove commas from here. Then click on set and then click on OK. You need to make sure that you restart your system after doing this step. Alright guys, once you have restarted your PC, just download this RAM optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. All you need to do is open up this pack after extracting and this pack is really simple. You'll just find two folders in here. The first one is for MZRAM which is an amazing amazing software which is going to boost your memory to the max extent. Next is the RAM optimization registry. We just have two registries. The first one disables the background apps in your PC. As you guys can see if I click edit, you guys can see all of the function that it performs. It just disables all of the unwanted applications in the background so that your memory is not being consumed by the apps running in the background. Next is the memory optimization registry. This registry sets your memory to run on the max potential. Now remember guys, both of these registries do not harm your PC. They are really simple and if anything goes wrong, you still have your restore point set. So simply run both of them by double clicking on them and then go back to the MZRAM folder. In here you'll find MZRAM's installation file. Once installed, open up the software. 
Alright, so the software opens up like this and you guys can see my total installed memory and the used memory which is currently being used in my PC while recording this video. I just have 9 GB of memory free which I believe is very much sufficient for gaming. But if you have a low end PC, what you need to do is click on optimize now. Then go to options and then try to increase free memory RAM and then set to roughly half of your total physical memory. Mine is 16,000 MB, so half of it is 8,000 MB. I hope you understand this thing. Also, auto optimize if RAM is below. So if my RAM goes below 2.5 GB free memory, then it will automatically increase my memory and turn off unwanted applications in the background so that my memory consumption falls down. Also, follow both of these settings over here and then click on apply settings. Now all you need to do is minimize this and let it run in the background. Alright, next thing is disabling startup app and this is also a very simple step yet it is very important. Press Ctrl Shift and Escape all together and task manager will pop right in front of you. If this is not the view you are getting, it should be like this. Click on more details and you guys will get the detailed view like me. Now once you're looking at the screen like this, you need to go to the fourth tab which says startup. In here you'll find a lot of files, if not a lot, a few files which are basically by default set to open up while your system boots. Now a very simple concept comes here, if your computer starts up, these apps will start running by default and the apps which is running in the background or by default consumes memory in the background. So disabling these apps will reduce the amount of memory being used by your PC while boot up. Ultimately you will get a faster boot up and you don't need to turn off the apps manually. So I highly recommend you guys to turn off startup applications. As you guys can see I have already disabled the apps which I don't need. As you guys can see Epic Games Launcher, you don't need it while your PC starts. You can manually open it up while you want to play the games. Similar to these, there are some applications like Microsoft Teams, NetLimiter Client, Origin and some of these things like Overwolf. I don't need them when my PC boots up. Similar to like Skype for Business, I don't want it to open up. So simply right click on them and then set to disable just like this. Now. Once you're done with this step, close your task manager. Nextly is disabling Chrome plugins. And this is also one of the very important steps. As you guys can see in the task manager under processes, you see Google Chrome occupies a lot of memory. If I click on memory, you guys will see Google Chrome is the application which uses a lot of memory in the background. And it's not just Chrome, the plugins which are used in Chrome also consumes a lot of memory. Here is a small example. So once you open up your browser, click on these three dots and then go to more tools. In here, you have to go for extensions. Now these are all the extensions that I have installed into my Chrome. So once you are in the extensions page, you need to filter out the extensions which you don't use. For me, I don't use docs, sheets, slides, but these are some of the extensions which are very useful while using the browser. So I recommend do not turn it off but if you have very minimum RAM, I highly recommend you guys to turn all of these off and then turn them on when you are using Chrome. So you'll see drastic changes just after you disable the Chrome plugins. But we still have a lot to go. Next, return back to the home screen of your browser and then paste in this URL. I'll be leaving this in my website as well. You guys can just copy and paste it in here. Now over here you have to make sure that both of these options are disabled. Then you can close your browser. Next, open up your search menu and over here, search for system configuration. Once you are here, go to boot and then go to advanced options. In here, select number of processors and use the maximum amount of processors that your PC shows. Then click on OK and then click on apply. Once you are done with this step, you need to restart your PC once. Now once you have restarted your PC, press your windows key and then search for CMD and then run it as administrator. Over here, you need to paste this code. I'll be leaving this code in the website as well. Just press enter. I have already added this code. Now you need to press your windows key and then search for control panel. 
Over here, you have to search for power and then click on power options. Now over here, you might only see balanced, but click on show additional plans under this drop down. You guys will see ultimate performance. Just click on ultimate performance and continue using this power plan. Alright, so this video is already very long, so I'll be uploading a 60 seconds guide tomorrow for advanced settings which will include dual channeling and enabling XMP in BIOS that will literally optimize your performance 20 times. Make sure to stay tuned for this video. So that was it for today's video guys, I hope this video had helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. See you all in the next video, until then stay tuned, keep watching Verifox and peace out.